Hello and welcome to Exclusive with Tagreed Hussein here on Nile TV International. Well, uh, tonight we'll be talking uh, more about Egypt's strategy towards uh, women empowerment, a very interesting topic. As we all know, that ever since uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi had assumed office, women's empowerment has become a very important issue pertinent to the very fabric of the society and its progressing march several times the head of state had underscored that women empowerment is considered to be a very important and a necessity for the very development of the society since it enhances both the quality and the quantity of human resources that uh, is available for uh, development well uh, tonight will be uh, shedding more light on this issue the issue of women empowerment and uh, we're really honored to have with us a very inspiring uh, example an icon uh, in the field with her expertise with her uh, glittering career and also her successful leadership that all embody this very essence of uh, women empowerment we're honored to have with us professor dr azza Hekel, who is the vice president for media affairs uh, at the arab academy for uh, media uh, for science, technology, and maritime transport. Uh, Professor Hekel, thank you so much for coming to NITV. Thank you for being with you in this uh, program. Thank you, Professor. And uh, uh, tonight, uh, both we are going to talk about this uh, strategic issue, the issue of women empowerment playing a key role uh, today uh, on all levels, women in our society. As the president, as we said, had assumed office, he gave directives that uh, we, we need to be very keen on the human being as a whole. The centerpiece is the human being and definitely uh, preparing women for leadership, women as strategists today, ministers uh, in the decision making positions so how do you see uh, this uh, important march throughout the past seven years um, I think that uh, uh, throughout these uh, uh, past seven years we have developed a lot we have developed we have changed uh, the position of women uh, Egyptian women in particular uh, has changed uh, in law in uh, legislation in uh, administration in economy even in society, it also has changed. Um, in the past, I think, in the last 30 or uh, 40 years, when I started my career, as a, uh, when I graduated from uh, my college, uh, the, the position of women was at edge. We were facing a number of uh, problems. We were facing the idea of terrorism, fanatism, uh, calls for uh, women to be back to uh, home that women shouldn't work. This was the era of the 80s and uh, the early 90s. It was a very difficult era, the beginning of my career, my ambition. Um, and I was all the time thinking uh, that uh, women uh, at that period of time are going back. We are facing problems, we are facing uh, difficulties. Uh, the, the, the view towards women was not uh, uh, that good. But I think after January and after the, uh, the role that women played uh, in the 30s of June and that the women were uh, like uh, yeah, and the inspiring, women were, 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 very were much leading at the forefront of their revolution. Yes, they were yeah. leading the whole family, they mm -hmm. were leading the street peacefully, respectfully, uh, loyally. Uh, they were very uh, powerful for their love, for stability, for uh, being moderate. They were against any kind of instability for this uh, country. After that, uh, I think that the president also gave women uh, the due respect, gave them what they really deserve. Now, uh, I think that women are becoming in the front uh, uh, doors in the front uh, borders and they, they are having a lot of potentials. Yes, definitely they are and uh, at the launching ceremony of the UN report on human development in Egypt that was for uh, this year 2021, the United Nations resident coordinator in Egypt, Elena Panova, had loaded the recent legislative reforms that have been carried out uh, by Egypt in order to empower women and uh, this was very significant in itself because Dr. Aza it gives the uh, international recognition of the steps that Egypt had uh, undertaken on the path of women empowerment. Yes because uh, Egypt uh, has really taken 
uh, forward steps. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one of these forward steps that yes. we, mm -hmm. um, we stopped this invasion of uh, fanatism, this invasion of uh, uh, taking women back, yeah. Uh, of imprisoning women in certain laws in uh, mm -hmm. calling that this is part of religion. Now uh, all uh, the world can see that the Egyptian women is now leading. The, the, the Egyptian women is taking a position in the executive uh, uh, power or in the exe executive uh, situation uh, and executive career and also they are taking part uh, as decision makers and uh, it's not only that. There are a lot of, uh, we can say, laws and regulations uh, uh, that have been issued uh, concerning the idea of society, the social dimension, mm -hmm. the economic dimension, yes. the, the small enterprises for women, also the health, the taking care of the, the health of women. Uh, we cannot forget that uh, for the first time uh, Egyptian women uh, and lawyers are becoming judges uh, and they are uh, for the first time becoming part of the, the, general, uh, well, yeah. the general eternity. Yeah. This is the first time they are part of it. They are governors, they are ministers, they are presidents of uh, universities. Uh, they are taking part in every aspect of life smoothly and uh, clearly. And this is uh, what I think is the, the real empowerment of women, that everything has been taken slowly but surely. Yes, uh, slowly but surely, and uh, we, we can put more than one line under surely because surely. it's very important mm -hmm. that uh, through their sense of confidence and through a sense of ambition, women uh, has been able to achieve uh, a, a lot. Uh, the enhancement of this sense of leadership and uh, uh, as a professor at the university and uh, seeing uh, uh, this generation and leaving an impact how, how can we like work on uh, bringing about strong women leaders for the future uh, in your vision, Professor Hekel? Now, women are becoming leaders, yeah. but we, uh, we have to think not only for those who are in certain uh, areas uh, of the country, we have to, to make uh, or to launch uh, uh, another campaign through mm -hmm. media, through the uh, Council for Women, the Egyptian Council for Women, mm -hmm. uh, through the NGOs, uh, through education. We have to think and change the mindset for the, the young generation, the young girls in the villages, in the uh, poor areas, and push them for more education, for uh, uh, being educated for uh, taking part in uh, work and society and not looking all the time for just being wives and having children because we are facing a problem as you know for the increased rise or the the great rise of population that's why I think a lot of young girls now uh, are taking part as leaders and, and thinking of their careers and their education and their uh, uh, achievement and self-fulfillment but also we still have to work more uh, on other uh, sector of women in Egypt. Yes, uh, uh, definitely we're working hard on more than one sphere and in his speech at the eighth session of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, that ministerial conference on women that was held last July, the president had announced the establishment of the Organization of Women's Development. Uh, also, uh, very importantly, is to work on more than one dimension regarding women development, uh, the Decent Life Initiative, and a lot has also uh, been done in that respect and we'll talk uh, more in details about this initiative and also providing health care services for Egyptian women in more than one field. Short break, we'll be back. Azimat, 
تطور ورقي أي مجتمع إنما يقاس بدرجة تطوره الثقافي والأخلاقي والمعرفي ويرتبط ارتباطا وثيقا بتطور ثقافة ووعي المرأة ومساهماتها الفاعلة في بناء المجتمع وتنميته تستمر مسيرة كفاح المرأة لتحصل على حق الانتخاب وممارسة الحقوق السياسية كاملة وقبل ذلك الحق في التعليم وشغل أي من المناصب والوظائف العامة وصولا لهذا اليوم الذي نرى فيه المرأة في جميع ميادين العمل الوطني إن المرأة المصرية أثبتت جيلا بعد جيل وعلى مدار التاريخ المصري الطويل أنها طرف أساسي في معادلة الوطن Yes, uh, as the president was saying, Professor Haeckel, that uh, the Egyptian woman is considered uh, to be a very important partner in uh, the formula of the state. That's why came the different services like uh, Takeful and Karama, Solidarity and Dignity, the Decent Life Initiative, yes. the health uh, care sector. Education is considered also to be a cornerstone uh, if we're talking empowerment because it helps women to make a choice. Yes, I think Decent Life uh, is uh, a real, uh, we, we can say it's another social revolution. And I think this uh, uh, initiative of uh, Decent Life will change a lot uh, for the life of women, uh, particularly in the villages and in the countryside. And uh, of course it will be accompanied by this right for education and this uh, idea of health care. Mm -hmm. These two will make women position in Egypt completely different and uh, uh, a very large sector or a, a very large part of e Egyptian women and young Egyptian women will change their perspective towards the idea of education, of uh, working, of career, of leadership, uh, of marriage, of having uh, a number, a limited number of children because this is again very important. I think the Decent Life initiative is something unique and it needs the help of all of us uh, uh, to fulfill it, to achieve it, to, to reach our goals. And these goals, it's not only the idea of water and supplies and uh, buildings and streets. Yes, this is very good and this is very important. But I think uh, what is more important for Decent Life, because it is a, a kind of life, life for uh, young women, for young girls to be educated, not to, to, to leave the schools, to, to, to be enlightened uh, and at the same time to be part of the uh, development, the whole development of Egypt. Yes, uh, definitely. Egypt took a great package of measures and uh, legislative amendments made in favor of women and there has been many milestones in this field, in the field of women empowerment. Uh, in conjunction of the framework of Egypt's Sustainable Development Agenda uh, 2030, uh, a lot has been done. Uh, we've seen uh, how Mrs. Panova has been commending uh, the uh, achievements uh, of Egypt vis-à-vis uh, -vis, uh, empowerment and within the framework of the strategy uh, 2030. Well, several women left a legacy, Professor Haeckel, uh, throughout the Egyptian history. Several women are considered to be uh, are ideal and are considered to be very inspiring. So, uh, talking about who inspired you in person, what would you say? Of course, my mother inspired me for the first, uh, because my mother was uh, one of the first uh, girls that joined uh, uh, the university, Cairo University, and she joined, she was one of the three who joined uh, the college or, of Dar el Alum. And uh, she, was, um, she was not only a, a student at that time, she also she gained to be the ideal uh, a student uh, because she was playing tennis at that time. She, at that time at Cairo University in the mid 50s. And she was part of the theater uh, uh, or the club and she was acting at the same time. She was... Uh, uh, reciting or uh, uh, yeah, saying uh, 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 poetry at the same time and 
this gave me an inspiration at that a woman or a girl at the mid 50s after the uh, 1952 revolution um, she was part of that and after that she she was a very good mother uh, of uh, four children uh, a very good wife and then uh, a, a teacher an arabic teacher and then uh, we can say uh, a principal of a, a girls' school, then a director of a number of schools. This is, uh, she was my inspiration, I Definitely think. a very, uh, very inspiring role model. Yes. And yes. Uh, as they say, like mother, like daughter. Yes, I you hope two, so. You two had she inspired is. many generations um, with your leadership and also with, through your guidance. And of course, uh, mm -hmm. I had a, a, other models. Uh, of course, uh, I love uh, in the pharaonic era, I, I, I adore Hatshepsut because she was not only a queen, but she was a queen uh, who, um, who built a whole city, uh, Thebes, who, a whole city for art and, uh, and culture. Yeah. And at the same time, at her time, there was no war. She was uh, a queen for peace. At the same time, she started what we call it uh, commerce deals with other countries. Yes. So she was a model. Also in the modern era, uh, I think one of the greatest, uh, she was um, Amina Saeed, yes. uh, Suhair al-Qalamawi. Yeah. Uh, these were uh, pioneers in one in her being a journalist and a writer and a lawyer and the other one was also the first girl uh, to, to got a PhD from the Cairo University. She was very determined, like Dr. Aisha. Uh, 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 yes, mm -hmm. there are a number of models uh, in every sphere, in every field of life, and they were all inspiring. Um Kalsum was also inspiring. Yeah, lot and lovely, of course, lo yes. uh, lovely yes. and uh, determined. Uh, lovely, determined women, and yes. also the role of soft power is is really very important yes. and uh, uh, talking about Azimat Masr would take like hours hours yes, uh, to, speak take about hours, uh, to speak about them uh, let's uh, go to this short break and uh, we'll be back للوقوف تحية للمرأة المصرية تقديرا لها على ما تقوم به من جهود عظيمة وتضحيات لوطننا الغالي مصر فكل التقدير والاعتزاز للمرأة المصرية ما انت موجود احنا في نعمة وفي امان وننام مبسوطين احنا عايشين والحمد لله بفضل ربنا وفضل لانه هو واقف مع, مع الشعب كله تحية يا سيسي سيسي رئيسي بالعصام للريس بالكتابة والرسم كتبت له أنا بحبه قوي ونفسي من زمان أشوفك رسمت قلبي أحلى حاجة حصلت لي في حياتي لا شفت حضرتك النهاردة ممكن إيه يا ممكن إيه ممكن إيه <تصفيق> أطلع لك أطلع لك عظيمات مصر واكد لكنا ان تن في قلب الدوله المصريه وعقلها فحمايه مستقبل سيدات وفتيات مصر اصبح اولويه تحملها كل مؤسسات الدوله وعليكن دائما ان تدركنا ان كنا درع مصر وصمام امانها ومفتاح مستقبلها كل عام وانتن جميعا بخير Yes, thank you, the great women of Egypt, uh, as always up to uh, the historic and the important march. And thank you, Professor Dr. Aza Haikal, Vice President for Media Affairs, uh, for joining us uh, here on Nile TV International. Dr. Haikal will be continuing more on Egypt's soft power, which is considered to be a very important uh, weapon today uh, in our modern world. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. That was exclusive with Taghrid Hussein here on Nile TV International. Uh, next episode, we'll be talking more soft power and a very important weapon in our modern world today.